I've never been a Carhartt fanboy per se. I've always found that their sizing and how well they fit has been a little bit off. But that's changing. About a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I picked up this Carhartt hoodie sweatshirt. It's Sherpa lined on the inside, which is really nice. And it's turned out to be one of my best gear purchases of the entire year of 2020, which may tell you something about 2020. This thing is really worth it. You gotta get yourself one of these. It punches far, far above its weight. What is going on guys? Adam Katz here for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel. The channel will we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. In this episode, we're looking at the Carhartt Sherpa-lined Rockland hoodie sweatshirt. It's pretty amazing. Now the interior lining on this is a 50-50 cotton poly blend. But don't let that fool you because it's 10.5 ounces, which is actually pretty heavy, pretty thick. Now, I have some footage here. I don't know if you could tell from the footage, but I'm comparing this to a piece I got from Costco, a, a sweatshirt I got from Costco, which I think was by the 32 Degrees brand. And that is that similar Sherpa lining is much lighter. And that piece does not keep me anywhere near as warm as this one does uh, from Carhartt. Now, of course, the Carhartt piece is two to three times more expensive. I think I paid about $20 at Costco for the sweatshirt from Costco. And this one I think sells for, I want to say around $69. But even so, it's worth it. When my mom called me up and said, what can I get you for your 50th birthday? I said, get me one of these. And she said, you've already got one of those. And I said, I don't care. Give me another one. I want a second one because that way I can have one in the car and one in the house. If you know, I want to go out and take the dog for a walk or go for a hike, or if I'm stuck somewhere and uh, need just an additional insulation layer. There's something else that's kind of cool about this Sherpa lined hoodie sweatshirt is that they did not put the Sherpa lining in the arms of the sweatshirt. And the reason for that is ostensibly so that when you put your arm through the, the sleeve, it doesn't push up the undergarment, like the t-shirt you've got underneath. So you know how when you, when you, Put your arm when you've got a lot of different layers and you put your arm through that jacket and it pushes everything up and it gets twisted so with this it's super slick so that you can put your arm in and it doesn't just push everything up the downside of course is that your arms aren't quite as insulated they're insulated but they're not quite as insulated as the rest of the the rest of your body for that matter or your head if you're wearing the, the sleeve that has the sherpa lining so there's kind of pros and cons to that but i find that it Regardless, it does work really well, and it is excellent for layering. Now, I'm going to show you here in comparison to an older Carhartt hoodie sweatshirt I've got that has the black insulation lining inside, which don't be fooled. Some people online will tell you that the black insulation is their Arctic Extreme Carhartt insulation. This is not. This is a much thinner black insulation, and I don't find it keeps me anywhere near as warm as this Rockland model with the Sherpa lining does. The other cool thing that they've added is that you can see there's a little flap that they put over the pockets so that it kind of keeps everything inside the pocket so it doesn't accidentally fall out, which is kind of a cool feature. I just think it's a great piece to take with you when you go camping. You can use it by itself or you can put a synthetic or down insulation light layer beneath it. So that way you zip up the Carhartt hoodie when you're sitting around the campfire in case the campfire throws off a spark. You don't have to worry about that, that little bit of fire burning through your expensive down insulation layer hey i'd be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below if you found a hoodie sweatshirt that you feel like is extraordinarily warm i'd be really really interested in checking it out make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell 
comment, like, share, do all that kind of cool stuff. If you like this kind of content and you like to see some more stuff that we produce, so we'll be coming out with a video or two each and every week looking at different hardcore camping gear that you can use to stay self-contained and self-reliant when you're in the outdoors. Take care, guys.